is the newest addition to Clover Street School. Today, we will ask questions to learn more about its role in our community. Hey, welcome back, Cougar. Do you know what today is? It's your birthday. It's your birthday because today is the day we give you a name. And there is one name that came up an awfully lot. Do you think you know what it is? Would you like to hear some of the things students wrote and you can guess? Okay. I think we should name our cougar mascot Clover. One reason is that Clover is the name of our school. Another reason is that Clovers are green and that is my favorite color. My final reason is that Clover Street School teaches us and that has a special place in my heart. What are we naming our mascot? Thank you for coming today, Clover. Do you like Clover Street School? Would you ever visit our classrooms? What is your duty at Clover Street School? Clover says that it's duty at Clover Street School, school spirit. Are the students friendly to you? How do you want the students to act around you? Clover says he wants the students to act friendly and nice around him. How do you show school spirit? Clover says he shows school spirit with Clover pride. Are you excited about having a school mascot and why? Yes, because I think it's good to have a mascot at our school because it could be helpful for big and little kids and like if a kid have a down day, I think the mascot should come in and like help them to bring them back up. Are you excited about having a school mascot and why? Yes, because they're friendly and they're adorable. How do you treat our mascot, Clover? I treat Clover the cougar like a best friend. I treat him with kindness and respect. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more productions by WCLO News. WPS Now followers, we are here today to discuss the issue on Chromebooks in the Windsor Public School System. Today we'll be discussing science, math, and classroom usages on the Chromebooks. So today on WPS News, we will be having Randy, our special guest, explain a program called ST Math, a program for K-6 graders to have a fun way to improve their math skills. Now, Randy, can you please explain this program? So this program is so um, there's basically you be, each person gets basically their own account, and then there's a password to get in, and then um, there's these once you get in there's these um, cones. So right now, say um, like I'm at like the 16th cone. So in in each cone there's um, levels. Once you're at the end of the cone, you basically take a test, and then before each cone, you get a pretest. So then you um, see how much progress you made, which is called syllabus progress. And then, so right now, so you have to make it by 100% at the end of the year. So it's helping a lot doing this program. Yeah. So on WPS Now, we have Carly to explain the science sector of our Chromebook presentation. So
So Carly, what programs do you use for science? All right, so the one program that everybody's been using when they have their class is weather.com. And in the beginning of every class, or when you have your class, you go on that website and you look up the temperature and the air pressure and the humidity and the wind speed and direction. Why do you use this website? To collect data about the weather that day. You guys are doing a weather unit? Yes. Is this a reliable website? Yes. For our last section on WPS Now, we'll be interviewing Daniela on a program called Classroom. Can you explain what the program is? So Classroom is like a website where your teachers set it up for you on your period. They like, well each class period gets their own file I guess and they put all of the homework assignments that they pull up on the at, that the students pull up on the computer on that file and then everyone can access it and yeah so it's basically a virtual classroom basically well this concludes our session of WPS now stay classy Windsor What the Learning Lab does is give kids hope. They actually see a path. It opens a door for them to see a path to graduation for themselves because they're suddenly, instead of being 17 in the 10th grade and not being able to figure this out, there's a we can sit with them and talk about, well, if you do this, this, and this, if you come after school, if you commit your study halls, if you come to summer school, if you do all these things, there's a way for you to graduate. I would say that it's a place where you can go no, no matter what has happened in your life to get you back on track. It provides students the ability uh, to, or a, a place for them to come into high school to uh, be successful in an area where they may not have had success in the classroom. They can find success here. I have a couple difference? friends that I graduated with actually that wouldn't have graduated without this program either. So when students come into the Learning Lab, we do an initial assessment to figure out where they are. We use a program uh, from Ingenuity. Working with the, the teachers that we have in the program, they'll customize the curriculum to make sure that we cover our content or cover our, meet our expectations in terms of rigor. So the teacher's role in that case is to really interface with the student and, and bridge the gaps, help them understand, teach the things sometimes that they're struggling with to get from the, the online experience. If you're if, and there's always a room then for a teacher to sit next to you. So let's say you're struggling a little bit to begin with. Nobody knows. Nobody. And it doesn't matter. You're going to go at your own pace. You'll be fine. And when they see that they can do it, that's when it starts working. They can get support um, much, much more readily and individualized and targeted to them. Um, it allows them to be much more successful. Lots of times it's to be a cheerleader. And so they say, oh wow, I mean this is really tough and you did this or you know, you're making great progress because of, you're talking about kids in most cases who struggle the most of anybody in our building to be successful in school. I would say everyone that I've ever had speak to me, it's the first positive thing that they have received in their child's entire educational experience. We have kid parents every day who talk about this program being the difference in the lives of their children. Let's give all the parents a big round of applause. Thank you. Coming from his mom, thank you, because you never gave up on domain either. I appreciate it. Thank you. I want to thank you for the unconditional support. I wanted to extend a hearty thank you for all the support. Thanks for being so supportive. He has changed so much and in all positive ways. Not only in the academic lives, but in the emotional lives of, of having their kids, the way the kids perceive school, the way the kids even perceive themselves and what they're capable of doing.
Unfortunately for a lot of our kids in school who struggle, the constant message is I can't do this or I'm not very good at this. And the learning lab is their chance to say you are good at this because we require that they get 80 80 percent before they move on to another activity. So there's no if, there's no there's no option. You you have to get to this level of mastery to demonstrate mastery. And some kids can do it quickly, and some kids it takes much longer. But but they have to master it. It's not like they can just coast through or get by. You have to make sure you finish. Don't get complacent, which is what my problem was, complacency. And she does they don't let you get complacent here. They always push you. If you want to do it, we'll figure it out. Someone was caring about them. Someone was looking for them to be successful. Someone thought that they could be successful, and they have been successful. And I think schools should look at ways to say, we know you need to know this, and we're going to think differently. Think outside the box a little bit about how you can get to the point where you need to get to. You see kids in the learning lab shift the way they perceive themselves as learners. It is a strong correlation, in my mind, between the learning lab and the success of getting students to graduate on time. We're here for the kids. They are kids. Never lose sight of that. We never give up on them. Um, they can't have a bad day. It's okay. We'll help them through it and whatever it takes. They talk about the fact that without the support of the Learning Lab and Captain the Valley and the teachers in that program, that they would not have ever made it. Thank you, Learning Lab. Thank you, Learning Lab. Thank you. Thank you, Learning Lab. Thank you, Learning Lab. Thank you, Learning Lab. Thank you, Learning Lab.